Hello again, Tumas here speaking. And I have a message to you. False prophets in the churches go hide yourself. Lord Jesus Christ said, Follow me, and you shall make you free. My kingdom is not of this world. You are false prophets, teachers of the law. You preaching Baal in the churches. Sunday churches 666. The synagogue of Satan, their father is the devil. The synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, Jews and are not, but do lie. I know the blasphemy of those saying themselves to be Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. You are of the father the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning, and doesn't stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks on his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. A church will not save you. A prophet in a church will not save you. Stop playing church. We are living in the last days. Get it together, people. Time is running out. That's how it is. Church doesn't save you. Religion doesn't save you. It's about the relationship you have with your God. To put your trust and faith in Lord Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. In the churches, they are teachers of the law. Who to you teaches of the law and perishes you hypocrites? You travel over land and sea to win a single convert. And when you have succeeded, you make them twice as much a child of hell as you are. Paid liars, deceivers, and they are also deceived. A church is a synagogue of Satan. You can see on the roof as a pyramid many churches, and on top of the roof you have a roaster. That means that Vatican controls all the churches. Vatican means divine serpent. They are snakes. Shape-shifting reptilians from the time of Egypt. Bloodlines of Satan and the fallen angels from the time of Egypt. They are no humans, they are snakes. Vatican is the church of Satan Pope. Rome, the harlot, synagogue of Satan. And that's where all religions is coming from. Christianity, Islam, Muslim, Buddhist, Hinduism, Mormonist. Orthodox, Catholic, Catholics, Church of Christ, and all these things. It is a building, it is a religion, and God is no religion. So you are so deceived. They are preaching Baal from ancient times, Babylon time of pyramids. The prophets in the churches, you don't speak out. You don't warn the people. You don't talk about God's real creation, the flat earth under a firmament. You don't speak about judgment, hell, weather destruction, pestilences and plagues and famines and, and all these things. Because you are teachers of the law. Paid liars, deceivers and you are also deceived. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty God is not in a church. It is run by the Illuminati. That's why they created the churches. Vatican built the churches to put the prophets in the churches to brainwashing small kids. And it starts in the Sunday churches as a kid. They are coming for your children. Sunday churches 666. Sabbath day is not on a Sunday. They have Lord, they have so called so called Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. Because they still want him to suffer there. That's why they did the Sunday churches. Lord Jesus Christ was on the cross on a Sunday. But it is finished. He's not on the cross anymore. It is finished. It was one sacrifice, you fools. You are in big troubles. You pagans worship. Idolatry. Graven images. 
bowing down to false prophets in the churches. They are pagans. Synagogue of Satan. Pagans, false holidays. Christmas, Christmas, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. This is Satan. E Easter, Easter, Babylonian, Isis. Lucia, brainwashing small kids with a light in their hand, torch. That is Lucifer, Lucia, the light bearer. You can also see Statue of Liberty in New York. The light bearer Lucifer, standing there on many waters, holding the candle, the torch. The whore of Babylon, the harlot, and on the top of the head, it is a sun. That means sun worship from the time of Egypt, ancient times. False sun gods. They want to be their own so-called gods. They are false sun gods. The sun stands in the image of Lord Almighty God, the sun of righteousness. That's why they worship the sun. That's why they did Sunday churches. 666. Come and sing, have fun. And they never preach out. They never warn. Because they preaching Baal worship. And all these false pagans holidays. And that's where it's starting. To brainwashing small kids in the Sunday churches. Sunday churches. That's also why the satanic elite, the rulers, also make... The six hand signs. Sunday. Do you understand? That is not a Sabbath day. God created heavens and the earth on six days. It was zero, 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 zero. There is no work. It was a moon day. He started to work on a Tuesday. Until Sunday. You have six days of work. Sunday, the sixth day, the Son of Righteousness. Lord Almighty God. The Son stands in the image of Lord Almighty God. And He blessed His creation. And He rested on the seventh day. Moon day, the moon child. Lord Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You need light in your home. You need light to go home. People are dark. They're walking in the darkness. They don't know where they are going. Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in the, dark, in the darkness, but will have the light of life. The moon child. Lord Jesus Christ, the seventh day, moon day. For the Lord is the, for the Son of Man is the Lord of, or Lord, Lord of the Sabbath. That's right. So you are so deceived out there with this Baal worship. People love themselves, create the things, they think they can do whatever they want. A friend of the world, they want people to love the world and things in this world. So they don't have the wrath of God onto them. You have believed a lie. Or our God is a consuming fire. Wrath, anger, destruction, pestilences and plagues and weather destruction. Curse should be in the city and curse should be in the country. Curse should be a basket and your kneading bowl. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. Therefore also I will reject you from being my priest. I also therefore will forget to bless your children. The more they multiplied, the more they sinned against me. I will change the glory into shame. Sickness and weather, destru weather destruction People are perishing because they are evildoers. They are a friend of the world. Teachers of the law. As Lord Jesus Christ said, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. So if you worship me, it will all be yours. You should fear only the Lord your God and swear by His name, eternal life. As long as you worship the world, friend of the world, Idols and all these things. They're making idols in the Catholics and all these things. It's coming from the Vatican. A friend of the world makes yourself an enemy to God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the fall is not in them. 
And that's why you don't know the truth. That's why you cannot see the truth, because you go to churches. You cannot see the truth in a church, because it is a synagogue of Satan. Sunday church is 666. Babylon, pagans, ancient times, they preaching Baal. I'm going to read this for you here. Illuminati controls the world. They are shape-shifting reptilians from the time of Egypt. You are a slave. Mind control, brainwashing, indoctrination. They are coming for your children. I'm going to read this for you here, right now. I will start like this, from the time of Egypt, when God put judgment against the Egyptians to keep you outside this slave house. Those are the ones who controls the world until today. Exodus 22. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You living in a slave house to the Egyptians, Illuminati, you can see the pyramid everywhere. And the eye of Lucifer in the pyramid. Illuminati. Freemasons 33. And the 13 bloodlines of the royal family. They are no humans. They are bloodlines of the fallen angels. Satan and the fallen angels. Then God spoke all these words saying. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of slavery. You should have no other gods before me. Exodus 6, 6. Say therefore to the, son, to the sons of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will deliver you from their bondage. I will also redeem you with an outstretched arm, and with great judgments. God's words have always been against this world. And that's why people are so deceived by this Baal worship. They make people love the world and things in this world, created things, rather than the Creator, who is forever worth your praise. Amen. That's why people are so darkened and separated from the life of God, because the ignorance that is in them, due to the hardening of their hearts, having lost all sense of shame, they have given themselves over to sensuality for the practice of every kind of impurity, with a craving for more. Teachers of the law, you have believed a lie, people. The Bible is fire. To execute judgment onto all flesh. The words of God is fire. Stop go to churches people. It will not save you. Exodus 13.3 Moses said to the people. Remember this day in which you went out from Egypt. From the house of slavery. For by a powerful hand the Lord brought you out from this place. And nothing living shall be eaten. Exodus 15.13 in your loving kindness you have led the people from you have redeemed. In your strength you have guided them to your holy habitation. Exodus 15, 16. Terror and dread fall upon them. By the greatness of your arm they are motionless as stone. Until your people pass over, O oh Lord. Until the people pass over whom you have forecast. Exodus 15, 26. Then he said, if you will give earnest heed to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in His sight, and give ear to His commandments, and keep all His statutes. I will not, I will put none of the diseases on you, which I have put on the Egyptians, Egyptians, for I the Lord am your healer. You see all this weather destruction and sickness, people are cursed because they are evil doers, evil desires, idolatry, bowing down to false gods, and all these false religions and all these things. Unrepentant, non-believers, scoffers, mockers, and all these things. That's why you have this wrath of God onto you. Money lovers and all these things. People are destroyed. Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 21. Then God spoke all these words, saying, Exodus 29, 46. They shall know that I am the Lord their God who brought them out of the land of Egypt, that I might dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. Leviticus 11, 45. 
For I am the Lord who brought you up from the land of Egypt to be your God. Tush! You shall be holy, for I am holy. As long as you walk in the mind of the flesh, then you're living in death. That means that you need to be born again. Lord Jesus Christ took this, took this penalty on the cross for your sins to follow Him, not the world, to be born again. You satanic hypocrites, you deserve to go down in hell, you fools. It was a big suffering for Lord Jesus Christ. You need to follow only Lord Jesus Christ to the Father, Lord Almighty God. Not this world, nothing in this world. Lord Jesus Christ said, If you don't give up everything that you have, you cannot be my disciples. That means, not of this world, nothing in this world. Follow me and choose to make you free. And those people in the churches cannot see the truth. They are earthly, unspiritual, demonic, by Baal worship, pagans, Catholics, Vatican, Church of Satan, prophets in the churches, go hide yourself. When the judgment is coming, Lord Jesus Christ will say to you, false prophet in the churches, deceivers, you didn't preach out, you didn't warn them, you didn't speak out, you are teachers of the law. You are a friend of the world. You stand in prideful in the churches and preaching bail. You go down in hell. You need to warn the people, otherwise they will die in their sins. And in the churches they don't warn the people. It is a friend of the world, an enemy of God. I am very tired in the mailbox here. I get uh, papers, teachers of law, published Churches, voting for churches and all these things. Published in the newspapers, standing prideful in the churches, meeting and all these things. Go hide yourself, teachers of law. Your end is destruction. Leviticus 26.1 You should not make for yourselves idols, nor should you set up for yourself an image or a sacred pillar, nor should you place a figure stone in your land to bow down to. For I am the Lord your God. Idols, graven images in the churches. Baal, worship. Do you understand? That's where all the idols come coming from. And people running after their idols. They are darkened and separated from the life of God. Indoctrination, slave house. They are coming for your children. They will end up in hell, you false prophets. Prophets, thousand years in hell. Leviticus 26, 13. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, so that you will not be their slaves. And I broke the bars of your yoke, and made you walk erect. Egypt, Egyptians, reptilians, Nephilims, Anunnakis, giants build the pyramids. And those are the ones who control the world today. Kings, queens, presidents, all the satanic elite, NASA, the serpent in the logo, everything is fake. And that's how you grew up, people. Indoctrination, they are coming for your children. Education, TV live vision, spinning globe in front of your face when the earth is flat under a firmament. Science, NASA hoax. There is, everything is CGI, paintings, NASA or the serpent. NASA in Hebrews means to deceive. Politics, religions, education, Sunday school is 666. And you teachers of the law. Brainwashing small kids and in the school. Everything is a lie. And when people growing up with all these lies, they cannot believe in God's real words like fire. Because they have put their trust and faith in the world. Hypocritical liars, false gods instead of God. You have believed a lie. And that's why you are so darkened inside yourself. That's why we have so many transgressors, smokers, evil desires. They make you a sinner instead of holy to God. And it starts in the Sunday church at 666. And God is no religion. I'm going to read about Paul, the deceiver of Christianity. I'm going to continue here. God is no religion. Christianity is Baal worship, 
that began the church of Satan. The Apostle Paul was a deceiver. He was Satan in the flesh and Antichrist. I'm going to make some startling points to wake your mind up into the truth. So hear me out, then I go through and explain each one and give you all the proof. You need to see for yourself that what I'm saying is indeed the truth. Paul was Satan in the flesh. Paul was never recognized as an apostle by the disciples of Jesus. Paul was never trained by the disciples, the men who walked, talked and broke bread with our Savior. He received his knowledge from revelations. Paul's account of his Damascus road experience changed every time he told it. Thus, the disciples know he was lying. Paul declared he was teaching another gospel of which he himself was the father. Paul declared he himself was the son of God. Paul issued his own commandments and laws for people to adhere to. Paul taught the exact opposite of what Jesus and his real disciples did. Paul worked to destroy and undo everything, everything Jesus and his disciples did and were doing. Going to continue here. Paul was never repentant, repentant for being the greatest, greatest persecutor of Christians at that time. He boasted about it over and over. Paul said God's law was a curse. Jesus said it was a blessing who's lying. Paul condemned Jesus and his, and his disciples for false teachings, teachings. He condemned Jesus himself for having long hair in 1 Corinthians 11.14. Something approved in Numbers 6.5 and Jude 13.5. Jesus said keep the Sabbath and Sabbath day is a moon day people. You always have to put two more days and you have the true calendar. As I told before, Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the moon child. The seventh day, that is why Mary also standing on the moon as her own goddess. He was deceived by the serpent. They worship mother goddess, mother nature, goddess of liberty, the woman and the dragon. They make sinners in the churches, Babylonian churches, synagogue of Satan, Mary standing on the moon. Mary was a sinner, became a sinner, but she was forgiven by God. And the moon is Lord Jesus Christ, the moon child, the seventh day. So remember when I'm posting this video here today, that it is, I'm going to tell you the right day today, it is Thursday, 28th of February. Two more days and you have the true calendar. Remember this now. Jesus said, keep the Sabbath, Mark 2.27. Circumcise male children, Luke 2.21. Paul said, circumcision is not necessary. Romans 2.26. That is going against what, what the Christ said in Luke 2.21. In 1 Corinthians 5.1, Paul says that he was not giving them anything but what he preached. He explained this even further in the second book for, second book or the letter to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 11.17. It reads, that which I speak, I speak is not of the Lord, but as it were foolishly in this confidence of boosting. He's telling you plain and simple, he was speaking of himself and not from or of the Lord. Paul cursed Jesus and his disciples. Paul claimed he himself was the son of God. I'm going to continue. Paul supported and demanded adherence to iniquity, discrimination. Jesus said to not let it be found among us who's lying. The devil Paul, blesses me, boosted, for I became your father. 1 Corinthians 4.15 Paul became the first pope of the Roman evil empire. He was here to destroy the work of our Lord Jesus Christ, to proclaim he himself was the son of God. 
he was on his way to Damascus and he saw an angel of light. And who is the angel of light? That is Satan, the blinded light, the angel of light. So Paul, Saul of Tarsus, went to Rome and made up the Christianity and became the first pope of the Roman evil empire, Vatican, the church of Satan, 666, Sunday churches, sun worship, Babylon, pagans, synagogue of Satan. So you Christians are so deceived. God is no religion. It goes to all religions. God is no religion. Christianity, Catholics, Orthodox, Jehovah's Witness, Church of Christ, Muslim, Buddhist, Islam, Hinduism, Mormonist, and all these things. All religions are cursed. It's all coming from Vatican, the Church of Satan. Now Paul declares it's okay to eat meat, sacrifice to idols. And that's what they do in the churches. They make you eat bread and drink in wine. They make you a cannibal. Now Paul declares it's okay to eat meat, sacrifice to idols. Idols. Babylon ancient times. For it, seems, for it seemed good to the Holy Spirit. And to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things. That you abstain from meats offered to idols. And from blood and from things strained. And from fornication. The cup of fornication. Vatican, the church of Satan. They make you a cannibal in the churches. Acts 15, 20, 15 28, 29. But I, Jesus, have a few things against thee. Because too has them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed to idols. Revelation 2.14 They make you a cannibal. Sunday churches 666. That's why you cannot see the truth. They are coming for your children. Do not go to churches. Your body is the church people to put your trust and faith in Lord Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. Stop with this killing animals and selling the meat and all these things. You are fools. You will end up in hell. I'm going to continue this message here. And as me, Thomas can see all the truths. I praise Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty God, forever, every day. I woke up in the Holy Spirit. I started to grow in knowledge in the end of 2015. And I start to see who controls this world. And in the beginning of 2016, I was growing in knowledge, wisdom and understanding. And I could see all the truths until now. I have made many videos. You can take a look at my account. Two Math Words is my name. You can spell it big letters. You can find it. Everything in this world is falsehood. You're living in a Luciferian world. Satan went against God in the kingdom of heaven. And he got angels on his side. A third of God's angels was cast out to the earth. Satan and the fallen angels. Satan wanted to be his own God. Prideful and selfish. So they fall to the earth. Satan and the fallen angels. And those are the ones who control the world. They make people evil because they are evil. Prideful, selfish, money lovers and all these sexually immoral idolaters and all these worshippers of the world. People lose their soul to the world. Satan gives you the world and you lose your own soul. And then you die without God in your life and you will end up in hell. All people who died with Lord, without, without Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty God in their lives will end up in hell. They woke up in hell. What a shock that must have been. You need to repent and be born again in the blood of the Son of Man, Lord Jesus Christ. To be holiness and righteous to Lord Almighty God. Do not worship the world or anything in the world. I'm going to continue here now with Baal worship history. And that's what they preach in the Sunday churches. Friend of the world. Teachers of the law. Children of hell is what you are. Numbers 25.3.5 so Israel joined themselves to Baal of Peor, and the Lord was angry against Israel. Numbers 22, 41. 
Then it came about in the morning that Balak took Balaam and brought him up to the high places of Baal, and he saw from, the, from their apportion of the people. Deuteronomy 43, you have, eye, you have eyes, your eyes have seen what the Lord has done in the case of Baal, Peor. For all the men who followed Baal, Peor, the Lord your God has destroyed them from among you. Psalm 106, 28. They joined themselves also to Baal, Peor, and ate sacrifices offered to the dead, sacrifice to idols. Hosea 9.10 I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your forefathers as the earliest fruit on the fig tree in its first season. But they came to Baal Peor and devoted themselves to shame. And they became as the stable as that which they loved. Judes 2.12.13 And they forsook the Lord, the God of their fathers who had brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods from among the gods of the peoples who were, who were around them, and bowed themselves down to them. Tush! They provoked the Lord to anger. Teachers of the law in churches, Baal worship, all these false pagans' holidays, Lucia, Christmas, Easter, and all these things. They brainwash in small kids. And those are in the churches. Those are in the cities. Those are published in the newspapers. They are wolves. They will end, in, end up in hell. Jude 3.7 The sons of Israel did what, was, did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and forgot the Lord their God, and served the Baals and the Asherot. Jude 6.31-32 But Joash said to all who stood against them, Will you contend for Baal, or will you deliver him? Whoever will plead for him shall be put to death by morning. If he is God, let him content for himself, because someone has torn down his altar. Jude's 8.33 Then it came about, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the sons of Israel again played the harlot with the bales. bales. Harlot! Sexual immoral, the cup of fornication, the Vatican, the church of Satan, harlot, and made Baal, Berit, their god, false gods from the time of Egypt. Luciferian, brother vipers, controls this world. They make you sinners, evil doers, with all this earthly, unspiritual demonic. Jude 10.6 then the sons of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord, served the Baals and the Ashtaroth, the gods of Aram, the gods of Sidion, the gods of Moab, the gods of the sons of Ammon, and the gods of the Philist Philistines. Thus they forsook the Lord and did not serve Him. A friend of the world makes yourself an enemy to God. You hear this message here. 1 Samuel 7.4 to the sons of Israel, remove the Baals and the Ashtaroth, and serve the Lord alone. 1 Samuel 12.10 They cry out to the Lord and said, We have sinned because we have forsaken the Lord, and have served the Baals and the Ashtaroth. But now deliver us from the hands of our enemies, and we will serve you. Turn to Lord Jesus Christ and choose your maker free. To the, Alpha, to the Lord Alpha and Omega, the first and last beginning and then, and you will know the choose. And as I told you, people cannot see the truth in the churches. They think they are righteous when they're standing in the churches. It is the synagogue of Satan, Illuminati, slave house. You are in trouble, people. 1 Kings 17.1 Now Elijah, the Tishbite, who was of the settlers of Gilead, said to the Ahab, as the Lord their God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, surely there shall be neither dew nor rain these years except by my word. Yes, you have all this here. Hosea 11.2 The more they called them, the more they went from, the, from them. They kept sacrificing to the Baals, and burning incense to idols. 
idolatry, sacrifice animals to idols, make your cannibal in the churches. They make your sinner instead of holy to God. That's why people are so darkened and separated from the life of God. Transgressors, mockers, evildoers, money lovers and prideful and selfish. You living in the mind of the flesh. That means that you live in death and you cannot see kingdom of God unless you repent. You will likely perish. That is thousand years in hell. Jeremiah 2.8 The priest did not say, where is the Lord? And those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers also transgressed against me. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walked off the things that did, that did not profit. Worldly things, Baal worship, Satanic synagogue of Satan, all religions are cursed. I'm going to continue this video. There are so many people who are deceived out there, Catholics, billions of people. You are not safe to go to church people, and God is no religion. False religions, for false Christs and false prophets shall rise. And shall shew signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Mark 13, 22. False religions, I'm going to read it for you here. God is no religions, you fools. Atheism, Baha'i, Black Muslim, Buddhism, Christian Science, Church of Christ, this is Illuminati, Eastern cults, Apostic... Ap Episcopal Church, Freemasonry, 33, Freemason, Greek Eastern Orthodox, Hinduism, Humanism, Illuminati, Islamic Muslim, this is the nation of the beast, I will include this also, the nation of the beast, Muhammad was a false prophet, he did a deal with Satan to write the book of the Quran, this is the book of Satan, they worship the so called moon god, it is no moon god for them, but the moon stands in the image of Lord Jesus Christ, the light of the world. They will, will end up in hell. They worship this black box in Mecca and the black stone. This is Saturn. Saturn worship satanic elite, Satan, the black stone, the cube. They will be in hell. They worship false gods. They end this destruction. Jehovah's Witness, Wolves, Judaism, Kabbalah, Lutherans, Modernism, Moonis Unification Church, Mormonism, New Age, Pagan Mumbo Jumbo Yin Yang, Pentecostal Charismatic, Roman Catholicism, the Church of Synagogue of Satan, Vatican, and that's where everything comes from. Russian Orthodox, Scientology, Seventh-day Adventists, Unitarian Universalism, United Church of Christ, Witchcraft, Vika, Satanism. You living in a Luciferian world, everything is falsehood. You need to give up this world and follow Lord Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. Your body is a church, people. Indoctrination, slave house, mind control. They are coming for your children. I warn you, big warnings. The end is near. We are now getting near the Great Tribulation, the last three and a half years, 1,260 days, 42 months. The time of trouble. And now they start to talk about peace agreement. And they also talking about the third temple in Jerusalem, Israel, where the Antichrist will sit and blaspheme. This is the time of trouble. Satan, the false prophet in the third temple, Jerusalem. When they're talking about this, this is a time of trouble. And after this, Lord Jesus Christ will be revealed in heaven for resurrection, to gather His elect from the four winds, four corners of the earth. He will send out the mighty angels from the four winds, four corners of the earth, and gather His elect, the chosen ones, the tribulation saints, the sealed, 144,000 sealed, will meet Lord up into the sky. That's right. And then you have the seven angels with the seven final plagues of God's wrath will be completed. And then you have the Armageddon, the Mount Olives and all these things. Judgment in Jerusalem, Israel. 
This is very serious, people, I warn you. I'm gonna continue this video. This is very serious, people. I gave you many warning signs on my account here, on my account. People on earth hate to hear the word repent. Those in hell wish they could hear it just once more. If you go out there and look about the weather now, it is a devastation out there now. God is putting big judgment on the weather. And you will see that I am the Lord your God. And you should have no other gods before me. Weather destruction, wildfires, earthquakes in warriors, places, tornadoes, volcanoes, floats, hailstones, storms and everything of this. Pestilences and plagues and famines. People are perishing because they don't keep God's covenant and they refuse to live by His law. The children of the devil, your end is destruction. Do you hear this? I will read this for you here. Psalm 9.17 King James Bible The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. Job 8.13 Job 8.13 So are the patch of all who forget God and the hope of the godless will perish. Psalm 49.14 As sheep they are appointed for Sheol, hell, Death shall be the shepherd, and the upright shall rule over them in the morning, and their form shall be for Sheol, hell, to consume, so that they have no habitation. Thousand years in hell, sleeping with maggots, worms will be your covering, in burning sulfur, back in ancient times, in ruins. Psalm 50.22 now consider this, you who, you who forget God, or I will tear you in pieces, and there will be none to deliver. And God says, Jeremiah 13.25, This is your lot, the portion I have decreed for you, declares the Lord, because you have forgotten me and trusted in false gods. False gods from the time of Egypt, Babylon, Shape-shifting reptilians controls this world and they are all the same. You're living in a slave house to the Egyptians. You can see the pyramid wherever you go. And in the pyramid you have an eye of Lucifer. Babylonian, ancient times. False sun gods from the time of Egypt. They are no humans. This is over 3,000, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000 years ago. So you have believed a lie to worship Baal, go to churches and a friend of the world and all these things. You are in big trouble, people. Listen to this. Romans 1.25 They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator who is forever worth your praise. Amen. Job 20.29 this is the wicked man portion from God. Even the heritage degreed to him by God. Psalm 917. The wicked will return, the wicked will return to Sheol. Hell. Even all the nations who forget God. Hell thousand years. That's how it's gonna be. Lord Jesus Christ, after the resurrection, after the judgment of God, the seventh seal with its seven seals, the seven angels with the seven churches, the seven, fi the seven final plagues of God's wrath will be completed. And then Lord Jesus Christ will stand on Mount Olives and split the mountains, the valley of your Shabbat. This is the valley for judgment. And Lord Jesus Christ will stand on Mount Zion and roar as the lion of the tribe of Judah in vengeance with the mighty angels and the tribulation saints, the righteous ones in the Armageddon, the, the valley of Jehoshaphat, the Mount Zion. This is the Armageddon and that's why they also, also do these movies, Armageddon, Deep Impact. The false alien, alien invasion is going to come. The Blue Beam Project. They will put up a Blue Beam Project with an image of so-called Jesus Christ up into the sky. They are shape-shifting reptilians. This is the false rapture, so do not be deceived. Lord Jesus Christ will come after the tribulation resurrection. That's why they do these moves about Armageddon, Planet X, 
Planet X is the destroyer of God's wrath, the seventh last plague, the seventh ball, the destroyer. Do you understand this? Deep Impact and all these movies. They know what is to come. That's why they do these movies. And after Armageddon, Lord Jesus Christ will judge you. He will put the sheep at the right side. Blessed are you to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You are born again. Righteousness, holiness. You repented, repented and follow Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty God only. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Reign with Lord Jesus Christ thousand years in a new heavens and a new earth. Where, where God will build a new heavens and a new earth. Where, where righteousness dwells. But only for those who love Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty God. And the goats will stand on the left side. Hell, thousand years in ruins, darkness, smoke, burning sulfur, sleeping with maggots, worms will be a covering. Punished! And after thousand years, it is the judgment in front of Lord Almighty God, the big, big white throne. Those people who, who have been in hell thousand years will be raised up in front of God, the big white throne, the second death. And if your name is not written in the book of life, you will be cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death of the thousand years in hell. This is very serious, people. Are you the tribulation saints, the righteous ones, reign with Lord Jesus Christ in a new heavens and a new earth, the new Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven will come down here on earth? Or are you the children of the devil, friend of the world, unrepentant mockers, coffers, non-believers and all these things? Hell, thousand years punished. The sun will be turned into darkness. The moon into blood. The stars will fall from the sky from the heaven. And the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds with power and great glory. Everything will vanish, people. Mountains will melt. Islands will sink. Oceans will totally disappear. Everything will lay bare. Everything will burn everywhere, everywhere. Everything will totally disappear. The great tribulation, the time of trouble, the end is near. And as I told you, in many messages, videos, the tribulation started 2016. You have seven years to go. The first three and a half years, 1,260 days, 42 months. And we now get in here in the middle to the great tribulation, the time of trouble. World War Three, bombs, missiles, smoke and darkness, the time of trouble. Are you ready? Are you protected in the blood of the Son of Man, Lord Jesus Christ, to the Lord Almighty God, the Alpha and Omega, the first and last, the beginning and the end? Be prepared for what is to come. Now I have talked about this many times. I speak as a consuming fire. God put His words in my mouth. Fire! Like a sharp double-edged sword from my mouth. Thomas! Thomas is my name! And I speak exactly what the Father has taught me. I speak to the world. The one from above is about everything. The one from beneath belongs to the beneath and speaks from the beneath. The children of the devil, liars is what they are. Teachers of the law, they are coming for your children. Brainwashing, slave house, indoctrination. You need to wake up to the reality before it is too late. No unrepentant, non-believers, atheist religions, prideful, selfish, money lovers, and all this wickedness will enter into the kingdom of God. You need to be holy, for I am holy, says the Lord of hosts. Repentance born again, or you end up in hell. It doesn't matter if you are a friendly, good person. You are not born again. You are living in the mind of the flesh. You are living in death. There is no eternal life here. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. I gave you these big warnings now, and I don't know what to talk about anymore. I talk about everything. The judgment of the way, the God's real creation and all these things. I expose the satanic elite. They are all the same. The Roman evil empire controls the world. Satanic elite are all the same. One new world order will fall. Babylon will fall. And it's going to get worse now, people. Repent for the kingdom 
of heaven has come near. It will burn like a furnace. And all the arrogant and every evil door will be shut. Says the Lord of hosts. You have been forewarned. You are in trouble. Repent or you will likely perish. And as John says. John 12, 41. There is a judge for the one who rejects me. And does not accept my words. The very words I have spoken. Will condemn them at the last day. The last day, first day of the week, moon day, resurrection at the seventh day. Lord Jesus Christ is a seven. The seven stars, the seven angels, the seven churches, the seven lampstands, the seven trumpets, the seven bowls, the seven seals, the seven I am. That's right, number seven moon day, the moon child, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the lamb is worthy, the lion is worthy. Yes, are you ready? So I warn you now. It's getting near. Repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. I praise your name Lord Jesus Christ. I love you forever. I praise your name Lord Almighty God. I love you forever. Repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Big warnings. Praise the Lord. Amen.